So you might be in a situation where for some reason you want to go ahead and fix your iPhone if you're missing out on some iOS 17 features. So this basically means that if you updated your iPhone, you might be seeing that, hey, this feature was supposed to be supported on my iPhone, and for some reason it's not there. The first thing I recommend doing is understanding that maybe you updated to iOS 17, but that particular version of that you know, you know, feature, software feature, whatever you're getting, is not available until a later update. Things like the journal application and all these other apps may not be available until later on, and this happens every single time Apple makes an update. So what you can try doing is making your way back into your settings application, scroll down until you see general, which is right here, go into software update, and see if you can basically go through and basically update your iPhone. If there is an update available for your iPhone, even if you're on iOS 17, there could be like iOS 17.1, iOS 17.2.1. These types of updates are still available. So I would recommend going through updating your iPhone and seeing if that ends up fixing the problem too. Probably for a vast majority of people, that's probably all you're going to do. And that's what I'd recommend doing, you know, just updating your iPhone to the next version of software. Now, for some reason, and that doesn't seem to be working. The next thing I'd recommend doing is going through and seeing if your particular iPhone was supported with that feature. So with an iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro, even an iPhone 13 Pro, a majority of iOS 17 features are going to be supported. But if you have an iPhone, let's say like an iPhone you know, 10 or iPhone 10s, not every single iOS feature is going to be supported on that type of phone. Things like FaceTime gestures and like keyboard autocorrect kind of stuff. That stuff is not going to be supported on your iPhone because your iPhone just doesn't support that feature. So in that particular case, there's really not much you can do. Either you can upgrade your phone or you can write to Apple, you know, stating you want that feature on your iPhone and maybe it'll support it at some point. But that those are basically the main ways to do it is to update your iPhone, and if your features are still missing, make sure your particular device is supported with that specific feature set. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.